so we've come across a lovely project here, Fidian, who owns the place. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing this place up, yeah? You yeah. look like you've got a huge job on your hands. It was divided into two two houses in the 1980s, so we're reuniting it and putting an extension on the end. So a whole new Della Bowl slate rag roof, knocking out walls, new windows, new heating, ground ground oh. source heat pump. Yeah, so yeah. a lot so of you're work. Often, you're not on the mains gas, obviously, or anything like no. that. So this is what you're putting on then, Fillion? Yeah. And uh, where'd you get these from? It's a mixture of stuff. Some of it we've taken off the roof, but most of it, uh, Tom, our roofer, has found on, on online, Facebook. Do they, what happens to these slates? Do they deteriorate? They do, particularly with the salt air, they can go a bit powdery. Oh, really? So, yeah. yeah. And we're, only, we're less than a kilometre from the sea here. So. Right. There's a lot of slate around here. I mean, you said you talk about Delabol quarries. Is this actually coming from there or not? It's quite possible. It will have come from somewhere oh, local. So you've got it second hand. You're yeah. not going to buy it new because no. it's way too expensive. Way too expensive, yeah, yeah and yeah. hard to find. Yeah. You've got some funny little boxes on the roof. What, what are they about? They're for the bats, bat dormers. So oh, really? the, uh, the left hand loft is going to be for lesser horseshoe bats, the right hand loft for greater horseshoe bats. And how so, do they so. know which door to go in? Uh, there's a big one for the greater door, greater oh, really? horseshoes. So. How big is a. a the, back, the wingspans may be 200 mil or so, yeah. but the entrances have to be 600 by 400. Yeah, because so they're good. blind, aren't they? <laughs> they need a bit of room. Um, did you discover the bats and fess up about it, or are you a keen conservationist? Uh, uh, no, what? I mean, I, I, I want to conserve them. Yeah, yeah. so you, 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 your heart's in it. It's yeah, not, yeah, not yeah. Because yeah. some people go, oh, bloody bats, you know, yeah. we've got to do it, but yeah. they don't want to do it. it. It's a pain, but yeah, it's got yeah. to be done, I think. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, lovely granite trough. So we're right. living in this half of the house. Oh, you're living here while you're doing it? While we're doing it. Yeah. So uh, Tom's broken up all the floors here, taken off uh, the uh, plaster. It had all been plastered with gypsum plaster yeah. and cement, and it's stone and lime and mud, so it can't breathe. So we're opening it all up. Uh, and then we're going to use Cornish lime insulating plaster on oh, here, right. I know, yeah. about yeah. 70 mil thick. Yeah. Give us ins it, insulation. Has it got perlite in it or something? Uh, or something? I'm not, I think it's got a, um, a sort of glass, foamed glass bead or okay, something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just to give it a bit yeah. of air in it. Yeah. Um, did you have damp? Yes, yeah, yeah, the place yeah. was very damp, but the, yeah. the roof was shot. Yeah, um, so a lot of There was damp in the walls. It's, it's hard to tell where, but since we've yeah. opened it up, it's been it's much drying better. Out. Yeah, yeah. So what are you going to put down, a membrane or what? We're going to put, uh, dig this out a bit more, blind it off, 100 mil of Celotex, and then a liquid screed like with that. underfloor heating in it, about yeah, 50, 60 it. mil yeah. of... So poured screed. Are you yeah. going to be using the anhydrate, the, the gypsum base or the uh, cement base? I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Well, I think something reinforced probably is what Yeah, well, they put yeah. fibres in it. Fine, so, yeah, yeah. so whichever one you get, but the, the thing, I don't like the gypsum base one because if it does get damp, it turns to mush. Ah, OK. And it's very difficult to tile on. Right, right. Guys don't like tile, if you're having ceramic tiles or whatever. Yeah. Um, they've got to prime it but the cement based one it's just the same it comes right. pumped in right. done but it's just a, a better right. product for yeah more conventional if you like you know right. so it, it ends up looking like sand and cement you know okay yeah so but yeah, yeah that's my you know sorry about that yeah, no, the gypsum, no, but no i'm just yeah. apologizing to the, <laughs> the, the gypsum guys but yeah. it just i just find it's you know an easy product so, but yeah. it, it'll work beautifully with the um the underfloor and you don't actually need that don't too much of a thing, right, right. yeah, especially yeah. with the fibres. Because we'd like to try and keep the ceiling. Yeah, keep the yeah I think you can yeah. get away with more, probably 30, 35 mil oh, reinforced okay. with the, with the fibres in right, it. Right, you know, right. I'm not saying yeah. that's where you've got I to think be, but we, take some advice pipes, on it. We'll, sure, we'll have to go to sort of 50, I think. This is going to be a downstairs loo, uh, kind of storeroom pantry. I don't know what goes on up there, but it's, you can't see daylight. This is all going to be opened out, these walls taken out, and then more modern extension on the end here, yeah. looking out over the woods and What stuff. will you build that from? The timber frame structure, and then we'll skin it on the outside with stone, some of the stone we use from oh, taking right. out. Oh, OK. The nice bit of it is yeah. the walled garden. Mm. 
and that's yeah. all slate walls all the way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, the um, the walled garden is listed as well as the house. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What was it originally? This house? A very long time ago, it was a farmhouse, a small was holding, oh, right. and then it was a courthouse apparently. Was it? Hence. Bassini Court. It's got this coat of arms, which yeah, are two I was looking at that. smart yeah. families, apparently local families who lived here. There's rumours that the Black Prince was here and stuff, <laughs> but uh, you know. Nothing to do with <laughs> King Arthur. <There's laughs> no, this must no. be the only place in Tintagel that doesn't have yeah. a King Arthur no. connection, if indeed it doesn't. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to walk back here. I just want to have a look at... So you're cutting all this up? Yeah, some, with some Leyland eyes that were going to fall at some point. And, uh, it looks like you're logging it. Well, I'm going to make a pergola out of it. So, oh, yeah. Right. yeah. So and very chunky pergola. How are you doing pergola. this with a chainsaw or what? That was some of the chainsaw, yeah. 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 And a guide on it so you get yeah. it going, yeah. Wow, that's a good yeah. project, isn't yeah. it? Do you have to season that forever? I suppose no, pergola you don't. No, if it's just outside, it I'll just use it. And uh, I think Leyland eye, even though it's horrible, makes fairly durable wood for outside so it's got lovely i'm gonna go kevin mcleod on you now <laughs> it's got lovely symmetry this building yeah isn't it? it's yeah. just beautiful that that just very pleasing you've got to keep these trees i take yeah it. well they're not um, they're not protected but we've uh, you, you like them we love them they're yeah, they're yeah. probably 400 year old ewes are they so if they were all clogged up with ivy so we yeah. had a tree guy go and cut off the dead wood and take all the ivy out of them Look, I know you want to get on, you're busy okay. putting on, you're, you guys are waiting, so thanks very much for letting us a have pleasure. a look at it. And pleasure. Uh, I wish you well with it. I'm, Thank we'll, um, you. We'll take your details and, you know, maybe if you need anything, give us a shout. You know, oh, that might be, be brilliant. There's just so much slate everywhere and if you've wondered where all of this Cornish slate comes from and how it's made, you can join us next week where we visit Trevelet Quarry. Oh, here's the graphic. I think it's about time you hit subscribe if you haven't and yeah check that little bell as well. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.